All right, Newburn. So you guys know how it operates here in the Charles Tendell studio, and you know how it operates on Newburn Live. We do all kinds of fun things in this studio. And if you remember last week, them folks premiered their first show. We're calling it Folks on Air. And if you guys want to check this one out, you want to get involved in it, you know, you, you know how you can do it, go over to Newburn Live, visit the Facebook page, and get in, involved in that conversation. And be a part of everything we do here on Newburn Live and have some fun with it. Remember, this program is a paid program, and the views expressed may not necessarily be those of this station or its partners. But without further ado, let's introduce them here for the Folks on Air. Who's going first? <laughs> hey everybody <laughs> Silence <laughs> No one speak <laughs> So guys as you know We are here doing the Folks Journal Weekly podcast Radio cat whatever we're, right, we're, right. What do we call this now? Live cast, cast. Live cast. <laughs> Live cast. Uh, Meg would you like to start us off and Yeah sure Let's um, get going Thank you ladies for joining us today hey, This is awesome yes. uh, In the studio we've got Melissa Black That's who was just uh, talking to us right there She's the Folks Journal uh, editor she makes sure we uh, look good in print. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try. She tries. <laughs> and then we have uh, Christina Best. She's joining us, uh, PR rep for Toyota of New Bern. We always love them and yes, love to see Christina's you. face. And God, Antoinette Bosky is here. Hello. And uh, she's a wonderful friend of mine and also very active leadership in the community. So we uh, invited her on today to talk about well, that's uh, who that is. everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know the voice sounded familiar. That's right. We don't know who and that is. Every, we're talking about everything Thanksgiving and talk about, you know, what we're thankful for. And we'll have a couple special guests come in today. We should uh, see uh, maybe Amanda Banks will come by, you know, and give us the very Merry Christmas Ooh. update. A lot of things have been moved because of the weather's looking frightful mm -hmm. on Saturday. So uh, everything in the whole world has been moved <laughs> to Friday night. <laughs> so Friday night's going to be a big one downtown Newburn, and we're looking forward to that. Um, and also, uh, let's talk about Folks Journal. Uh, Folks Journal, we are here. Our mission is to consciously co-create the unity in our community. And today we're going to be talking with Antoinette and with Christina and Melissa about what um, about the unity and community portion of our mission statement and uh, volunteering and what that means in our community and how we can help each other uh, to be the best that we can be um, and to support each other through all that. Um, and ladies, uh, we're going to start out with events today. So, yay! Before, these are the best people we to talk to events, about events. Though, um, did you see who was outside? No. The Grinch. <gasps> coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been naughty or nice? Yeah, right. A little bit of both. <laughs> right. A little bit of both. <laughs> the Grinch. Grinch awesome. told me I was naughty, so I'm not getting any attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Had That's okay. Point. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... Uh, what was it? You need to community volunteering and oh yeah, events. Events, events. yes. That's so what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's an event today. Yep. yep. Stands for Young Urban Professionals Group. Mm -hmm. If you don't know about that, Antoinette, go yeah. Tell us all about it. Yes. Yeah, so um, I know that everybody's probably seen our name out there a lot, Young Urban Professionals ENC. Um, and lately we have been doing a lot of focusing on relief and recovery after Florence. So last week at the Omega Center, the Omega Center opened up and. Had had this big free giveaway, come get what you needed, bedding, clothes, curtains, I mean shoes. Yes, all kinds of <laughs> <Shoes>. stuff. <laughs> we're like shoe fanatics. Yeah, so. no, we're excited. <laughs> but um while there, Yup actually went in and accepted applications um, for families to receive turkey boxes. And so Christina and Jamisha went and did the shopping last night. <laughs> I saw some of that on Facebook Live. <laughs> Uh, it was probably the most interesting experience I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about I'm it. Surrounded by food. food. <laughs> yeah. So huge shout out to the neighborhood Walmart. They have been amazing throughout this whole experience with floor, uh, with with the hurricane. Um, and they came through again. <clears throat> So I think it took like maybe an hour for us to, to check out an hour Wow! because we had so much stuff. That's um, great. But yeah. And then they, you know, took out our turkeys or whatever. So um, thank you again to Toyota of New Bern. Um, they purchased 50 turkeys for the families today that we're wow. going to do. That's but um, we, And Christina's not going to say herself, but Christina actually helped out as well. I did. Yes, yes I she did. did. And, a lot of, and a lot of other people. Miss um, Barbara Lee, Barbara Michelle Lee, Bryant, Bryant um, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Toyota again, um, uh, Brian uh, from La Bella Donna Salon and Kendrick. Mm -hmm. So there has been a, there's been a lot of private donations also mm -hmm. for this, um, which has been amazing. But um, yeah, if you could have seen us climbing the shelves last night and pushing <laughs> our buggies, um, we probably had at least 
at least 15 people stop Sounds us and say, where are you guys cooking at this year? Like, we want to come to your <laughs> house. <Yeah. laughs> but um, and then we explained to them that we were from the, you know, Yup and what we were doing for the community. And they thought that was amazing. But um, mm-hmm. I think in the boxes we have, um, they're pretty big turkeys. Oh, yes. so, they're calling me like, yes. oh, wait, what else? <laughs> <laughs> so there's turkey, uh, gravy. We did cornbread. Um, we also did corn, uh, green beans, mashed potatoes, and... Um, the desserts. Oh, the cakes. The cakes. Oh, the you cakes. are making me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. I'm advertising oh, for everybody no. today. Yeah. And let's not forget Velveeta mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. the best. With the shells, girl. Yeah, the yeah. shells. So um, they'll get that in their box today. That's um, starting awesome. at 4 o'clock. So it was it was really amazing. It was a humbling experience. Um, and then the interesting part was we had one vehicle, which I don't think me and Jamisha were thinking about that. Um, <laughs> so in that Honda, is it CRV? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, there was so much food in there. Literally, I have pictures I can put up later um, packed to the top. And then, of course, we had to actually sit in the car and ride. Right. They didn't think about that part. <laughs> Who's we driving? We forgot. Yeah, we forgot. There. <laughs> so uh, I had just, let's just say I had probably at least 12 bags on top of me. Wow. So you have to do what you have to do. That's and, right. and, and we made it work. And That's awesome. You know, it's, we're going to do it today at 4 o'clock at the Omega Center. That's great. Yeah. So, yeah, if you guys want to go see a big helping of Thanksgiving, you know, really happen. You know, go out and check out the Mega yeah. Center. And, and just, in you know, Toyota some Newburn, and um, we'll have our truck there. Um, <laughs> thank you, Aiden. Um, he'll be there, and uh, we'll have the truck backed up. And if there are some people that need deliveries, you know, that's what we're there for, to deliver the boxes to their house. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Now, is it too late to donate? Can people just kind of come by, or is it already done? And people who are well, that, we know, did the applications Friday. Okay, night we did. So okay. it is already done. So it's already taken care of. Okay. Mm-hmm. However, right, Yup is still doing the free sledding. Yes. And that's true. Merry Christmas. Yes. yes. Talk yeah. about that. Talk about free sledding. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. So that's <laughs> exciting because all of us really love kids. Yes. Um, we're all kind of like big kids. If you ever see us in our little private zone together, uh, <laughs> we are. <laughs> you don't a <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, but we will be providing the sledding for um, hey Judy. the Christmas lighting, and we're excited to um, be able to do that for the community and mm-hmm. be able to see the kids smile. You know, this yeah. is a lot. It's a lot for all of us. So to yeah. be able to put some smiles on some families' faces and some kids' faces especially is right. like this big, ah, the oh, angels are singing. And yeah. we're hoping we're going to be the first ones to go down the sled. No. <laughs> right. We're going to try it out. Not right? the kids, yeah, just us. Yes. The biggest kids of them all. Yeah. <laughs> but we do have to thank, you know, there's a lot of people too that made that happen, of course, mm-hmm. with Yup. Um, so thank you to everybody who donated for that to make this possible so they Absolutely. can sled for free. For the yeah, because those yeah. are the members of Yup that, you know, actually take out of their pockets and their businesses that are, you know, are formed out of younger mm-hmm. professionals group that take care of this so yeah it's definitely thank you so much yeah. absolutely yeah it's amazing. absolutely okay did anybody have anything else going on like tonight or anything or you guys got the turkey dinner going on any more things thanksgiving related that we can think of um mm. i don't know okay oh wlcc without limits they're giving away turkey okay the, uh, the boxes cannot remember the exact day i will look that up okay put that out there before we that sounds but I great do know that they were putting um and kiss okay. uh, there was something on kiss 102 they're doing free turkeys okay mm-hmm. giving away uh, 101 turkeys I'm oh pretty wow sure I heard that and i think kiss. i saw lowe's was doing something yeah too. so i think there's multiple organizations there's a lot of, that are doing right. a lot of a lot of turkeys right yeah. so if you, you know if you uh, need you know those contact things you can definitely check our facebook page in just a little while and we'll have all that on there sure, for yeah, you yeah. um if you need those resources also i know that uh we've got a tiny tornado is going to come by in just a little bit oh, oh is she coming is she becky coming? coming becky's coming here as our spe- okay. as a little special shout out thing that she's doing because i saw surprise. No, I'd love her. i'm not going to have awesome. enough space in the studio for that truck so. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Charles, we're going to need you to figure that out charles Charles, she can pull in the o marks right up here well, she'll, just, yeah. she'll, she'll just spin right, right on in here herself <laughs> <laughs> so, so does that mean that the tiny tornado truck is going to be you know set up just outside the o marks building for, oh uh, for I, a little while i, I don't does, think that's going to happen today i think we could talk to her that's definitely wait until she gets here to see that but, but let's exactly. shout her out because Becky mm-hmm. did come. I want to say that on yes. Friday when Omega Center was open and yes. people were coming in. She had gumbo. Oh my oh, gosh, it was, it was delicious. delicious. <laughs> yeah, she, Becky's um, amazing. For the closet giveaway, she showed up and actually she ran out. Um, but she fed several several people yeah. that night for the giveaway. So yeah. we, she's she's That's done incredible. a lot for the community. Um, mm-hmm. And big shout out to. 
her, we did a huge adopt-a-thon on Saturday, which was super successful. I think we adopted out over uh, 20-some animals, cats and dogs included. Oh, that's awesome. And our goal for Chip Hughes was 5000 And we went over that. Um, so Are I could kidding? cry thinking about it. Yeah, so that's I think great. we did like 51 33 or something. Look at you, Newburn. But, um, yeah. you did. So... Animals got good homes. Um, Chip finally got out of the cage. and uh, But Becky was out there again um, serving um, her chicken waffle tacos. Oh, yeah. And so she stayed at least, you know, four or five hours out there for the Adopt-a-thon. This so lady she's is doing amazing. A lot. Yeah. yeah, I saw some more amazingness today online before, I, you know, we came here. Mm -hmm. And I shot the graphic over to... Um, uh, Charles, but I'm gonna wait till she gets here because I want her to tell us all about it. Cause she's just amazing. Ooh, I think I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I'll let her say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we gotta let her talk yeah, about I'm it. Super happy. Yeah, because it's super special. Because yeah. she's she's really really cool. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about the Tiny Tornado food truck. Um, mm -hmm. that was a for profit food truck before Hurricane Florence came through, mm -hmm. and during that, um, she turned into a nonprofit, and now she feeds people for free as often as possible, which is all the time. Free meals for free life. Free meals yes. for life. Yes. You know, so we yeah, love her so specific, much. It's free tacos. Yeah. Well, free. free yeah. Free tacos. Tacos. Yes. Yeah, tacos. Yes. It's Tuesday too. It's Taco know, it's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I'm super excited, Charles. Did you, you tell them to bring tacos? Didn't, did, can everybody see that? Okay, so we oh, did Taco Tuesday, and oh, that was the flip first time. Flip it over. Flip what over? There you go. Rotate one more time. One more time. Rotate again. Rotate again. Ah, Does it turn it? There you go. Okay. <laughs> 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 did we just do a flip on air? Okay. You did. You flipped it. So this is um, exactly how this happens. <laughs> so this is a Taco <laughs> Tuesday. This is the first time we uh, talked to Charles, you know, and did the whole unity and community thing. That's awesome. You know, we're like, hey, Charles, let's go do Taco Tuesday. What better way to get to know somebody, right? And get to know their tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see tacos down there. You can see some sopas down Charles, there. Charles, look at I your know. expression on your face. Oh, yeah. We were super excited <laughs> we about we all that. At my absolute favorite taco Where place is that? in New Bern. It, that That's is it, Taco El Loco. Taco Loco. Loco. Oh, yes. I noticed that. Yes. I, yes. Oh, oh, wait. See my face light up. What? You, oh, food everybody. Groupie. I knew that. <laughs> I, I you, knew that I paint. Know. I knew it was somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. that's Taco Loco for that's, sure. Yeah, if you have yummy. not experienced El Taco Loco, mm -hmm. you, you are doing go. yourself a disservice. You, have you got need to, to go. fix that. Ooh. You yeah. need to fix that soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so talking about more events and stuff, some really cool stuff's going on. Um, check this out, you guys. Uh, you if know, we, uh, Folks Journal is all about, you know, the arts in the community and unity in our community. Okay. I'm learning lots of things today. This is neat. Ooh. This is really neat. And it's fun. The game yeah, of toys. Good, yeah. So um, here's our visual. <laughs> so we have the next chapter, books and arts writes a new chapter, which is absolutely awesome. Next chapter, books has been a part of this community uh, for a really long time. And to have them as a place and a haven for local authors and artists, that's really great. Um, that just shows more unity in our community. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all, last time, our very first podcast, like last time, <laughs> um, <laughs> our very first podcast, we had on a local author, Ken Caps. And there's a whole bunch of different authors that, um, that are a part of that network, you know, that uh, um, uh, take place and have their books and art in the next chapter books. What's really cool now is they just did a new expansion, and that's what I'm really excited about. They have this whole new thing in the back that they've redone, and it's really cool because I go over there, you know, quite a bit to go say, "Hey, what's up?" I mean, right next to MJ. My eyes are in tune. I'm like a book freak. Book freak. I know. <laughs> I know. You gotta go over there, Antoinette. So they have um, local authors and everything, but they have this new section that they have um, all just for either art classes or book signings, and has just really become super receptive, receptive to the community and their needs. You know, as far as that's concerned, they have. A coffee maker in there, go get you a cake, oh, cup, nice. and some tea, and walk around and look at all this new stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really nice to be able to celebrate that down here. So I just wanted to... What's the address for that? Give a shout out to them. Um, it is 320 South Front Street. Okay. Can okay. I say right next to the ABC store? Okay. You can yes. say right, right next okay. to the ABC store. Everybody knows where that is. Kind of right around the corner from Raddy's. It's right there. It's right there. So, so a glass of wine. So and... vans in your comment section. Yeah, um, thanks. Hey, hi everybody. To hi to Ashley. Hi to Dee. Everybody Lord. else out there. Hi. Laura says she's in between clients but wanted to say hello. Yeah, hello. hello. Hey, Laura. We hey. love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Laura uh, McGovern, she owns a Magnolia Jane Salon, mm -hmm. and that's where I go get all this done. She mm -hmm. keeps me all You're looking up. good, girl. girl mm, thank you, Christine. Do you know what You're I welcome. found interesting since the storm? Okay, so Laura McGovern is one of my friends on Facebook. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that I've met through social media that I have never met a day in my life, and it's like this excitement of, when am I going to run into somebody right? else? No. <laughs> well, you know, Laura um, uh, texted me the other day, and she was like, Meg, do we, are we doing angel trees? Do you know of any angel trees going on in town? And I was like, no. Mm -hmm. I know that the churches do them, and I know that you know different yeah. people have done them, but I haven't ever seen one downtown. So mm -hmm. she's like, we need to do that. 
I said, well, girl, go ahead. And she has one over at Magnolia Jane Salon. And I think Brown Pelican, the last time I talked to her, was mm-hmm. going to have one. I'm not really sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I wouldn't be surprised because Brown Pelican's always doing community yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, uh, But there are angel trees around. If you need more information about that, you can get in touch with Magnolia Jane Salon and Laura McGovern. Um, I know she'd love a Facebook message to shoot her one, you know, and just kind of see what's going on, how you can help with that. Um, let's see. What else do we have going on? Oh. Another favorite thing of mine. Okay, so I totally did take screenshots from Facebook. Y'all don't care. All right. um. (laughs) I'm just being curious. You don't care. (laughs) Okay, so this is where, you know, but this is where everything's going on, right? Okay, so Mm -hmm. my friend Andrea Owens is a fiber artist, and she is absolutely wonderful. Well, she's having her very first lady night at ladies night at her new place, which is over on Craven Street, right next to Isaac Taylor Garden. Sorry, I'm looking at it literally in my oh, head. Right across from Mitchell's. Yep. Okay, so she's right there at that little nook of a gorgeous of a shop she's got over there. And if you've never seen any of her work, if you oh my gosh, just go. I own a couple hats of hers. Um, it's really, it's like wearable art. Mm-hmm. She has scarves that she does and felt mm-hmm. and silk, and it's absolutely gorgeous. She mm-hmm. felt um, animals, little critters, you know, and mm-hmm. stuff. And, and they are absolutely adorable. The craftsmanship that she has is just like none other. And there's nothing else going on like this in New Bern either. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, right as you walked into the Critter Show at the Bank of the Arts, her um, little fox right there, Leopold, was there. So that was absolutely amazing and awesome. So she's all over the place. Um, but like I said, she's having this really cool ladies' night. And it's uh, Thursday, November 29th at 5. So um, like I said, if y'all have never been over there, just go take a peek. It's absolutely oh. awesome. Very, yeah. very cool. So I want to make sure I mentioned her. Uh, let's see. What else do I have going on? Oh, let's talk about Folks Journal. (laughs) I like that picture a lot. Okay, so there's Folks Journal. And uh, these are all of our issues we have. Uh, November, December is coming out. It should literally be landing in our office this week. So look for those around town um, and get them while you can. You all know that. Um, (laughs) Because they'll be gone. Because they'll be gone. They'll they'll be gone in two days. So, you know, if you can get one, get one. And congratulations. (laughs) If you can't, if you do miss out on getting one of the copies while they are in stores here in town, you can now go online to the website. You want to give us the info on that, Meg? Yeah. um, You can go online and uh, get any of the back issues. They're $12 a piece. Uh, We don't have them right now. They'll be available after the first of the year because we're still working on a whole bunch of other things to make that happen. You know, we just turned it into a nonprofit like we talked about. So Mm -hmm. a lot of things are getting shifted around and done different ways, you know, but we're still there and we still want to make sure to offer this to you. So these are on back order. We don't know right now when you'll get them, but if you put the order in, we'll know how many we actually need, you know. So if you want to get all four or all five for somebody for Christmas or Excuse me. If you're missing a uh, edition, you know, mm-hmm. go ahead and let us know, and that way we can uh, go ahead and make sure we have our orders that we need before we place everything. So that'd be really cool. And let's see, yeah, that's really cool. And our covers are beautiful. I love. Yes, them. they are. I, I absolutely love. Like, them. I, and I've, I've said this before on this show that a, after favorite. the storm and losing my my literature, Folks Journal was the first oh, okay. thing that Zoom I on, read. I <laughs> It was the first thing that I read, and that is the edition that I have. Is it? That's a very um, first one. It was amazing. The artistry is beautiful. Mm-hmm. The print is top notch. Mm-hmm. The stories are wonderful. So for me, it was like uh, I have my release now. Thank you, Meg. <laughs> yeah. So oh, wonderful man. journal. I love it. It's a pleasure. It, it's an absolute pleasure. That's my favorite. Uh, the first is and third beautiful? edition. Yeah. Listen, this one. First and third edition. That was done by local artist Ashley McDaniel. Mm-hmm. She's also the uh, one that did the poster for us for Lily Fest, for Lily which was Fest. awesome. Which was I'm going to talk about that in just yeah, a minute. Yeah, Fest, yeah. Oh, girl, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Some people get there. Yeah, okay. One second. Okay, so that's artist Ashley McDaniel. She's awesome. And make sure to buy her poster, um, Lily Fest poster. I think you can still get one. That's issue two. That's Sam Ray Duke. She's amazing. She's a local artist, too. And she has her prints, I believe, available at the Red Shoe Studio. So, you know, like we were just talking about, you can go down there for Ladies' Night and see if you can get you one of these uh, beautiful mushroom and fairy pictures that she does. And I'm going to brag for a second, because this last one right here, this fourth one, that's Leanne, my business partner. Really? That's, that's Leanne's work. Oh. Um, she is absolutely that's beautiful. Amazing. And that's actually her daughter, Sophie, right there under the tree. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Cool. Yep. So hmm. I absolutely love that. So, and y'all can, uh, and y'all have seen five, maybe that's the one Donna Slade's cover. It's kind of pink and it has the guy on there. I don't, I don't have that pulled up right now, but, um, but yeah, issue five is out. And, uh, like I said, November, December should be out this week. So be looking out for those. 
And let's see what else is cool. Well, I'm oh, going to really interject fun. really quick yes. while, while Meg's doing her I'm Thinking dance. Uh, <laughs> Leanne has just tuned in oh, from Hilton she? Head. Hey, so Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Leanne. What's up? We were just talking about you, girl. Aww. Also, if we could, to kind of backtrack for yep, a second. Absolutely. Uh, Joanne here on the, the feed on Facebook has said, don't forget to mention the New Bern Music Calendar. Ooh, we have many thanks, holiday Joanne. events listed. Absolutely. And that is on Facebook. Yep. You guys okay. go and check it out. Yeah, it's all it's like the one stop shop for music downtown. And it's awesome to finally have all mm-hmm. that in one place. So thank you so much, Joanne. Yeah. I that mean, is really fantastic. Thank you. It helps so much. Okay, and the last thing events that I want to talk about is okay, this one's really near and dear to my heart, and I'm not gonna stop talking about this until it happens. And then the day it happens, I'm gonna be like the biggest <laughs> fangirl Newburn has ever seen. <sighs> oh Jackie Shelton Green is New Bern, is North Carolina's new poet laureate. It's the first time we've ever had an African-American female poet laureate. And yes. that's really special to me. And so is Jackie. Um, her work is absolutely amazing. She'll be at the Harrison Center on December 4th, um, which is also a Tuesday. So we'll go, actually go live on the studio. And then I'll be able to go see Jackie that night. So I will be the biggest fangirl ever <laughs> <laughs> on December You're be 4th. Out of control. So I'll be definitely out of control. Er. I wonder, and, do you think, uh, what time so does yeah, that start? Oops, that starts, that's from 7 to 9. Uh, she, there will be two sets. Um, she'll start out the readings um, that night, uh, and then after she does her readings, then it'll be open up to an open mic where people in the community will be allowed to come and read one to two poems, you know, kind of shorter ones, you mm-hmm. know, not, uh, nothing long, epic Beowulf things, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, we'd love to have you come out and contribute and be a part of this wonderful thing. So, um, Jackie Shelton Green, I can't wait for you to be here in New Bern. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay. And what's so, the address? Where is she going to be at? Um, it's 311 Middle Street at the Harrison Center. Harrison Center, okay. From 7 to 9. Okay. Yeah, it's right down there. Uh, by, right across from the church. Where's yeah, right across from the church mm-hmm. and on that same strip with like Bay Leaf and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I know where The new wellness yeah, yeah. place. Okay, and, okay. Yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait for you to be here, Jackie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, you guys, we're talking about unity and community today here with Folks Journal. Um, you've seen a lot about uh, the community. We've been talking about different events and stuff, but the unity is really what makes it happen. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all of us coming together in a common cause to do the common thing. You know, and with Folks Journal, it's just always a lot of fun and wait, it's good. Wait, the common what? The common thing. Well, one more time. The common thing. <laughs> okay. Just oh, making sure I understand <laughs> how you're pronouncing it right. Just the that. common you thing. A's and a couple you know, of ends. It's what that. we do. It's that good. It's that feel good. It's that Newburn feel it good. Is. It's that new new. You know, and if I want to stay, I, that's where I try to stay. You know, and that's mm-hmm. what Folks Journal helps me do. And um, y'all do that too. You know, and this is and Folks Journal really celebrates those people and businesses in town that are really getting together and doing the unity and community thing. So. Um, I want to talk about uh, Antoinette Me. Bosky. Ooh, oh, Antoinette, Antoinette, you're so awesome. Antoinette has been featured in the Folks <laughs> Journal before. Let's talk about it. Look at you, you're blushing. Let's talk about Antoinette. <laughs> you're blushing, Antoinette. Antoinette's featured in the Folks Journal. Um, we had her in, and we talked to her about all her amazingness. And would you like to give us a little, um, Antoinette? Tell us about. Tell us about you. So. Oh man. This is for Antoinette. The camera with the light on is looking right at oh you. Oh, my right gosh. Into the camera. <laughs> there okay. you go. Extreme You've got the spotlight on up. you. You see my no face? Pressure. I think I'm no really pressure. turning red. You are. You have never you seen are. a black woman turn red. She is today. <laughs> <laughs> to the entire you Facebook are. world, they see you now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, baby, um, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you, you for having me. And, and, and I must say that I was... Honored. I was kind of shocked when Meg asked me, like, me? Hush. Really? Um, but let me tell you something about these questions. <laughs> oh, it took me a while <laughs> to, like, think of, like, the best way because it, to respond because they were just, to me, they were deep questions. Mm-hmm. Like, it was really about getting to know me, not just the community work, but what makes me tick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that was like, oh, I'm 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 being a little vulnerable here, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, as well a lot vulnerable, right? Um, so, but I think it was a great experience. Um, it allowed me to share things about myself that I hadn't shared before. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was amazing, especially the struggles part. That that was the hardest question for me, right. you know, um, because then it meant answering. A question about my biggest struggle, which is very personal, because that's my daughter, right. you know? Mm-hmm. So that, for me, was really big. But um, what a lot of people don't know is that with Amaria being born three months early, being a single mom, 
um, her having hydrocephalus and just the surgeries. I know that sometimes some of the strongest people we don't realize need the support too. Um, so for me, that was, that's, that was my biggest struggle. Like I know that I'm in the community and I love helping people, but the person that's most important to me is my daughter. Mm -hmm. Like I do it for my daughter, for her to see, you know, what it means to give back and how important it is to be appreciative of what we have and thankful Mm -hmm. for, you know, the people that love us and how blessed we are. And I think that being in the community shows her that. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. as a mom, it's that, how do you balance that? You know, right? how do you balance? Okay. I'm mom, but I wear this hat too. And Mm -hmm. That's including her, letting right. her see what it looks like, mm-hmm. letting her be involved, letting her say how it makes her feel, mm-hmm. you know, while still figuring out what's the best way to help my kid, too, through her own struggles. Because sometimes, right. as a no matter how great of a parent you are, um, you always question, am I doing the best I can? Mm-hmm. Like, am I doing right by my kid? Because how can I be out here in the community doing this work or be in my career and not really be the best I can be for my own kid? That's right. so hypocritical, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So keeping that balance definitely is something really big. And not just keeping that balance there, but also keeping that balance with the different pots I have my hands in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. Let's talk about some of those, so those pots. What those kind of pots, pots you got your hands in? Um, well, there's yup, <laughs> which we know. I am all about yup. Um, Young Urban Professionals was, it was an idea that Jay Misha had like, hey, let's do this. And I was like, oh, that aligns with some things that I'm very passionate about. I'd love to help you form this and put some thought behind it and some some put some paper behind it. Right. So, um, of course, yep, focusing on economic development and minority mm-hmm. communities and really working to bridge that gap. Again, building unity in the community, build, bridging that gap between um, people who may be from very different worlds and helping us to really understand each other and how we can help each other right. mm-hmm. to grow. Um, then there's Coastal Women's Shelter. Yes. Um, That is very near and dear to my heart because I understand domestic violence. I understand the effects. I am a survivor. um, And I know the effects it could have on kids as well. Um, So being able to be a part of that organization with with Coastal Women's Shelter, I um, operate as secretary, and that is just a wonderful board of people, a wonderful organization Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, with all that they do in the community, Mm -hmm. not just to help those who... Um, are suffering from being in a situ- of d- situation of domestic violence, but also the ways that they help in the community and just donating back themselves and letting the community know that we're here, but we also support you all as well. Right. Yeah. So Tova right. Harrison, amazing person. I think she is the perfect executive director for Coastal mm-hmm. Women's Shelter. Oh. She's, she's, she's awesome. some great visions mm-hmm. and something else. some great knowledge. And just as you're right, an awesome person all the way around. What's up, Tova? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And then there is uh, Craven County Disaster Recovery Alliance. Yes. That's something new for me. Um, but the case management piece of oh, that yeah. and being the I, think I saw her earlier. Yeah, yeah, was, I saw, I'm so proud like, of her. <laughs> I was sitting here like, Oh, I'm so glad Melissa's here because I was going to be the only woman at the table. (laughs) Girl power. (laughs) So that's a really amazing group and seeing um, how we're really coming together in order to make sure that all the ducks are in the row so that we can um, efficiently and to the best of our ability serve the community through this recovery effort, which, you know, I know we all want it to be something quick. I find Mm -hmm. myself doing that to myself. Oh, gosh, you've got to get this done faster. You've got to get this done faster. And then I'm like, wait, you're only one person. You're only one person. That's a struggle for me because Mm -hmm. it's so many people that need help. Mm -hmm. And you want to help everybody. Yes. 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 That, you know, having that compassion and saying, I just want to help everybody. Mm -hmm. And But the big piece, and and this is the biggest piece for me, and has been a lesson that I've been learning, recognizing we all have different talents. Right. We, we all have different abilities. Mm-hmm. And when we allow others to tap into that talent and those abilities and we come together to use those talents and those mm-hmm. abilities, then that's when we are our best Becky. Yeah. Yeah. Talents and abilities. 
<laughs> tiny tornado in the house. Speaking of tiny tornado. talents and abilities. Exactly. Speaking of talents and abilities. We can, and we'll Jackie, share. We'll Becky share. Yeah. Becky. Us. Okay, so this Becky's spinning here. spinning in and spinning out. I know. This is Becky from <laughs> Tiny we're Tornado. To we're so thrilled to, get your truck to um, yeah, <laughs> get the truck just pull it in. Mark. <laughs> okay, Becky. Okay, okay, so before we came on air today, I'm always on Facebook looking for the new new, you know, and so I saw the new new pop up and I was like, girl, can you come by the studio and tell us what's going on? So would you please tell us about what you're doing? For sure. Um, on Thanksgiving Day, we're going to do two feedings, one at Riverside Hardware down um, right on Riverside Drive, kind of like Sunnyside, Duffy Field area. The second free feeding is at 3 p.m. And I'm just going to set up in the old Days Inn parking lot on Broad Street heading into downtown. Um, everything's always free. I've been accepting a lot of donations. So we'll have clothes, cleaning supplies, um, books, toys, all kinds of stuff. Awesome. Um, I also partnered with PBS Kids, and they sent me um, 150 packets for children on how to process dealing with cope after, like like coping Mm -hmm. with loss after a disaster. Not coke, cope. 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 Coping. Yes. Yes. Like, what? (laughs) Coping. Thank you, Rich. Right. I'm like, hold up. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. You're yeah. just always we there. Out. You know, we were like singing your praises Anything before you, even you need. got here. What was it? Friday, oh, Saturday. I mean, you're just everywhere. Friday with the gumbo, Saturday with the tacos. And we're talking about Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful for you. Yeah. And what you do for our community. We're all thankful for you. Thank you so much. And, uh-huh. and I'm calling them Grata Tacos. Like, oh, Grata Oh, I love cool. that flair. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Spread yeah. the word. Yeah. <laughs> Grata Tacos. I'm about to start flooding <laughs> Facebook with that. <laughs> and I would like to know if I invented that and if I did. Okay. Because <laughs> right. I'm saying, well, yeah, right now. Yeah. Grata Tacos. Yeah. Grata Tacos it. Thursday. Thank you so much yeah, for girl. what you do. You're Girls, amazing. Thank, thank you for coming by. You're awesome. Anytime. Keep it up. Love you. Mm, love you. Bye. Bye. Have a great Bye. afternoon. Yes. All right, you guys. Oh, that was just a nice Becky. surprise. That's yes. great. Becky is Bye awesome. Tornado. I love surprises. She's awesome. Her food's awesome. Yes. Her spirit's She's awesome. Yeah. It's just She's got a, a lot of good people that on heart for to service. Help out. That's mm-hmm. her heart for service. Yeah. She's got right there. Yeah. She's really great. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Cool beast. All right. Well, thank you for coming in, girl. Thanks, Becky. <laughs> hey, Becky. Becky with the good hair. Yes. Yes. That's what oh, I call her with the good yeah. hair. <laughs> okay. So you we only were... know that joke if you've heard that song. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> so we were talking to Antoinette about unity in our community. Um, and uh, I, I don't honestly remember where we left off. Do you? She was talking about um, talents and abilities. Yeah. Yeah. Accountability. Okay. Your wonderful talents okay. and abilities. <laughs> oh, talents and abilities. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, but when we uh, when we all tap into what what we were put here for, oh, and we right. work together. Yes, girl. There are some amazing things that can be done. You know, mm-hmm. when there's no competition, there's no feeling of inferiority or I'm superior. There's no I do this better than you. There's no showmanship. It's just. Let's come together and get it done. Yeah, let's do what we do. That's what it yeah. should be. Let's just come my, together and my, get it done. My saying is teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, yes, girl. it it's does. It's all about teamwork. Yep, it yep. does. Yep, could not function without that. Like, yep. and mm-hmm. any organization can't, but definitely being a part of Yup and seeing that because, I mean, just like Christina and, and Jamie going to do the shopping last right. night, you yeah. know, we all can't be in the same places at the same time. Absolutely. So the fact that we're able to communicate and say, look, I can't do that. Yeah. We, we oh, all just kind of join in and mm-hmm. pitch in and do what we can do. We all have jobs. Mm-hmm. We all have yep. families. We all have children, yep. extra things we're doing, but you know, we make it work. That's like right. last mm-hmm. night we jumped in and did that. And today we have people doing the boxes and the people mm-hmm. that are going to be there distributing the, the turkeys and, you know, Toyota is there, you know, helping. So it's just, it's a community thing, you know? Yeah. Um, it's awesome. It's amazing. Yes. It warms my heart. <laughs> I'll make me so happy. I'm like a little water baby. <laughs> it's so inspiring too. too, though. It you is know? so it's, inspiring. It really is. You you think about, um, of course, we always say unity in our community, and that's that's kind of become our, our thing there. Um, but you look at the, the organizations like, um, what is it, the Craven County DRA, the, mm-hmm. the Disaster Recovery Alliance. That I, I interviewed those guys, nicest people in the world. You were here. It was wonderful. They I asked, how did this start? And it was just a guy who said, well, I wanted to help out. And so I started doing this. And then I found out that this guy over here, he was doing the same thing. And right. figured we could together. help more people if we got together. Yes. And that, like, yes. John Robinson, shout out to him. This. He's yes. amazing, too. Yep. That's 
that's anybody. Just right. join in. You can do something. You can help. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So well, and when you sit in that room for CCDRA at these large meetings we have, and you see all the different people from different backgrounds, different walks of life, no one's getting paid. It's right. all it's right. volunteer time it's all volunteer to come time. in. P- I'm going to just slide this in here. CCDRA is still in need of volunteers say, yes. for <laughs> everything from construction to casework to... Please, 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 please get in contact with us because the only way that we will be able to fully recover and rebuild and be the new New Burn is by us all doing it together. That's right. Exactly. Because yeah, the internet, we talked about, you know, us doing casework right. stuff. I think maybe you're going to do it. I was trying to. I've, I'm going to try. I mean, oh, yeah. I've, got, <laughs> I've got a training coming. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're planning for training December the 1st. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I think it was amazing when you were telling me about how many families were there that needed to be seen out there. Oh, yeah. How mm-hmm. many visits? What, what was the number? I don't. Oh, we didn't even cover even a small portion. And we, I mean, I've gotten ooh, somewhere between 50 and 60 outreach cards completed already. Yeah. You know, people are still emailing so in, more. asking yeah. for help. There yeah. are people That's we've right. encountered who didn't fill out FEMA, didn't know they should have mm-hmm. filled out FEMA, thought they couldn't, fi- you know, apply with FEMA because they didn't have insurance. or right. And that deadline's coming. It's December 13th. Mm-hmm. It's December 13th. There are so many people to reach, and we cannot reach everybody unless – we have okay. bodies. Yeah. Right. We need help. I need bodies. Yeah. You know, people willing to go knock on doors. And people ask me a lot about the schedule. I'm flexible. I understand mm-hmm. what it takes to volunteer. Right. I understand yeah. what it takes to run an, a volunteer organization. I get it. So I just need people who, even if they're willing to give me an hour today, an hour on Friday, that's like so many doors that could be knocked on to be able to see who needs help and what they need. Because when you're talking about recovery, People's needs are changing constantly. Maybe I needed my house mucked out, but somebody already came and and they did that for me. So Mm -hmm. now I need the rebuild portion. Or maybe I did fill out my FEMA and I need help filing my appeal. Or maybe I don't understand the SBA process. There are needs that are constantly changing. And, you know, in order to try to keep up with it, I need bodies. Not just bodies, but I need caring bodies. Because right. we're knocking on people's doors yeah. who have suffered through trauma. Mm-hmm. And so it's important it takes for a special us to, heart. Yeah, yes, it, does. it does. It takes a special heart. But I think heart. when you say caseworker, like some people get a little freaked out about like that, that what title. Does that mean? So, right. so what would they be doing? Like tell them what they would, what they would be doing. Antoinette. Okay, so a caseworker is someone that we train. Um, we give you the form to complete. And basically all you're doing is we're giving you maps of areas we need you to go in mm-hmm. um, with the locations of streets and stuff. I just need you to go knock on the door. Hey, how are you doing? I'm with CCDRA. I'm a volunteer. Just wanted to knock on your door as a neighbor to say, do you need anything? Mm -hmm. What are your needs now? And checking the boxes on the form, getting their phone number and saying thank you. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's that simple. A caseworker just is someone who helps us do the outreach. You knock on a door. You find out what the needs are, and then you bring that back so that we could get them assigned to a case manager who would work more in depth with them Mm -hmm. on following through and advocating and help them get those needs met. Now, I'm going to plug this in here. I'm going to plug this in here. Do it, girl. This is a process, and it does take time, Mm -hmm. and I know it can be frustrating. I don't want people to think that I'm saying, you know, this is going to be the saving grace because it is a process. I don't want people thinking that I'm saying – you call me today or you email today and I'm going to be out there tomorrow. Like, and people yeah. resources are going to be out there tomorrow. I'm not it's saying time. that. Yeah. Um, but what I am saying is um, that there are pieces that have to move. There's mm-hmm. pieces That's that right. have to move with the state. There are pieces that have to move um, just with connecting with the right people to get the resources out. So right now doing the outreach means when the resources come, then I've got, people I could connect to the resources right. Right. rather than the resources mm-hmm. come in and we have them twiddling their thumbs waiting. Well, that's how you lose resources. Mm-hmm. So at least this way we have an idea of what we're dealing with and what the needs are so that we have an idea of what the resources are that are of most urgent need and things that maybe would come later. Can right. pr- we can prioritize exactly. it. Like right. Exactly. Right. That's exactly. Yeah. And that's exactly what case management is right. by doing this outreach. It allows 
us as a committee an opportunity to prioritize who needs help now. No one wants to be last. John already said right. it. No one wants to be last. No one wants to be 50th on, on, on in the list. Right. Um, but I do want people to know that we are doing our best um, to be fair, right. to be just, to be objective. Um, and so there are no, there are no picks, mm-hmm. right. you know, there are no picks. It's just, w- what's just what the it mean. is. Yeah, you just know, just if I have, um, take my house, for example, I can live in my upstairs. Mm-hmm. My house is gutted. There's no mold compared to a 65 year old man who may be living in mold right. and has right. some kind of health condition. Mm-hmm. I would expect him to be prioritized before me. Right. Yeah. You know, so there are no picks. It's all about finding the most vulnerable in our population and trying to help. Mm-hmm. The least it's of these. The least right. of these. Trying to make sure no one falls through the cracks. Yes, ma'am. So. That's beautiful. It. It's yeah. my little spiel. Thank you, Antoinette. I love you so We're much. We're going to get to oh, all of Yes. Okay. I think, I think um, Charles had to turn my mic down. I might have got a little excited and started talking <laughs> really loud. <laughs> well, that's good because we get excited. He's smiling right now. Look at him. See? And y'all, so, so there's an, so many ways to volunteer in the community, you know, yes. with that, with a lot of things. And we have um, volunteered together in the past. You want to talk about it? Oh, yeah. So yes. we have this picture. We um, oh like to volunteer. <laughs> Oh, that night was over awesome. at the Newburgh, Newburn Civic what Theater. What do we call ourselves? That's the Charlie's, Charlie's Angels. Angels. Yes. So, <laughs> Tammy, you can give a call over there and talk to Tammy. Uh, she's so a volunteer awesome. coordinator over mm-hmm. there. Um, you can go over there and volunteer. Get on the schedule. Do you want to do our, our, our thing right now? Oh, oh okay. yes. <laughs> yeah, we're in the same order. How odd is that? <laughs> do it again. Yes. Do, do it again. Right. All right. On demand. Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's amazing. So I have to say it was it was I know the theater, you know, a little bit about the theater, mm-hmm. but just being there. Right. It was super fun. They're super mm-hmm. close over there. Very yep. family oriented. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but we had the best time just being ushers. Well, we actually did do the concession stand. We, we weren't really really worked. But it was so yeah. much fun. Yeah, we actually the door worked. Actually we actually stuff. Yeah. worked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just door decorations. <laughs> but um yeah, no, we show people to your, you, what you would do if you volunteered at theater. You um go over there and you just show people to their seat, look at the ticket, find out mm-hmm. where they're supposed to be. If there's little double letters, they go upstairs to the balcony, and if there's yeah. other ones, it's right. downstairs, left, right, middle, right, left, yeah. middle, yeah. or still, you know, all that good yeah. stuff. And so well, they'll teach you how to do all that and then you just show people to their seats. Mm-hmm. And then you get to watch the show for gratis for Which free. And we had Awesome. And we had songs memorized. Yes, and the I acts. saw it four times. Yeah. I saw My Fair Lady four times. It was amazing. And uh, but each it was and every time. time. Yeah, yeah it was it's different, different every time. Every time. Because yeah. it's mm-hmm. live theater. How, yeah. What a treat that is. So, um, yeah, uh, and volunteer at Rivertown, too. You know, uh, Rivertown mm-hmm. Theater. Mm-hmm. Everybody, all the theater companies in town could use it um, and volunteers. And plus, it's a way to, you know, go see a show. You can mm-hmm. do something you can do mm-hmm. with your family. Expand your my horizons. Dad, yeah, my dad and I <laughs> volunteer. And now my it was my, so my niece, too. Kaylee, now is going to be volunteering and doing and ushering. Who well, Meg's dad is just so awesome. 13. I have to stick that in there. When I met her dad, the greeting was, "Well, hello, beautiful." Ooh, okay, I like you. He's a little bit of a player. Yeah, yeah. Dad. Yes, he's kind of smooth. He's, he's smooth. He's sweet on the ladies. Hey, dad. That's for sure. yeah, hey, hey, dad. Daddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have a good time together. So get together with your family, with your yeah. friend family, with mm-hmm. whoever, and just. Pick a day, you know, and just go okay. out there and see when you need help, you know, and just make it a fun thing to do with your friends and with your family it's and like support your community. Too. It, it really is. is. And it's yeah, great. It was and relaxing. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. yeah. And you get to just go out there and hang out and like be a part of things and yeah. be a part of the community and, and support the creative community. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's a really cool thing to do. Love theater. So yes, it's super we fun. talk about commu- uh, unity and community. And this is what I will say about the theater. Um, okay. Moment of truth. I had never been to a live show. I had never been to a Are live show. I'm oh, I was about to say a word. I can't say it. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Sorry, Antoine, I didn't mean to say that. That's yes, I had crazy. never been to a show and there's so many people who've never been to a show. So that means it's it allows the ability for people from different backgrounds and yeah, experiences right, for right. us all to be in the room together doing concessions. You get an yes. opportunity to really network. Especially if you and think you, you can't do. afford a ticket. If you think yeah. you can't afford a ticket, yes. volunteer. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Volunteer. Yeah. There's it starts with thirteen year olds. Mm-hmm. If you gotta be thirteen and up. Mm-hmm. You know, and just going up there and fill that little thing and then they'll show you what to do and you know, like go I said, there. and Tammy is awesome. Yes. She's awesome. She and is. the experiences you get and, you know, just getting to know people and, 
you know, new experiences. That's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Antoinette, that's so awesome. Oh, what a great God. story. Oh, I, I love that. I know because we're in the middle of the show, right? And I've seen My Fair Lady like a thousand times. And, <laughs> Meg, and Meg is just like belting out like everything. I wasn't trying to belt. No, and I was whispering. Singing a little bit. <laughs> What's that? Well, what? <laughs> so I'm sitting there singing or whatever, and Antoinette's like, girl, you know all the words. Have you seen this before? I was like, you haven't? I didn't even register that she hadn't seen it or seen a play. She just came mm-hmm. on, you know, and that's the that's spirit awesome. that it takes. Antoinette, mm-hmm. that's pretty dang, cool. that's an- another reason. That's pretty to, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. Very cool. Okay, so um, I would also like to talk about uh, Folks Journal again. And <laughs> well, this uh, is how the you can donate this is their show. show. Well, I know. Well, I mean, you know, we share because it's, I mean, it is called Folks, folks on, on Air. air. Well, so. This is the co creative part of it. And this is where so Folks Journal comes in because we really are a platform. You know, right. fo- just like Charles is a platform, Folks Journal is a platform, you know, for all these different beautiful things that happen in town. Um, mm-hmm. We are, have just become proud sponsors of Hairspray. Which oh. is going to be at the River Town. So, That's girls, ex- we got to go see oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. that one. <laughs> So, we're going to go see Hairspray, and y- y'all get your tickets while you can because all-, all these shows in town just get bought up. You know, just yeah. as, just are they as on sale as- right now? Um, I don't know. I don't think so okay. because they're just now doing um, tryouts and stuff. Okay. Um, have just listed that. So, or they might be. Hell, I don't know. Okay. Check it out. I don't think they've gone on sale yet. But yeah, they'll go River fast. Town. You they'll right. go super fast. River Town. Yeah, they'll absolutely. go super fast, fast as Folks Journal books no, that's go. That's a movie I've seen. I'd love to yes, see the show. Yes, there you go. So you'll I see the show. Hairspray. Yes, oh, it's, it's so great. Fantastic. It's wonderful. One day I'm get I'm gonna get like the. Well, can I say that the balls? Can I say that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> my mind. So, the sorry, kids. Haven't seen tomorrow. So one day I'm gonna get the balls to like try out for something, right? Even you should. Like we Leanne talked just about did. that. Leanne just did right. it for Mama Mia, and that was awesome. She really did. She did. She, I, she mentioned it. Uh, I don't know if she's going to call that. I know oh she got passed so out when it was over. So she's going to be my motivation. Leanne, there I need you, you to go with if me. If she'll do it, we'll do it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, and let's see. What else we got going on? Oh, Toyota has a huge event coming up. Oh, what you got going on? New Year's Eve. Oh, that's right. Ah. Yes. yes. So we're super excited. I'm sure you've been hearing it out and about. Um, we'll be talking about it a lot more, but activities... Yep. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Let's find. Oh, Ooh. there it is. There, oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. 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 Ball drop. What do we so, do? Um, hold on. Let me hold that up. Yes. Can you see that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there, on the eye roller oh, right here? there, there yeah. is, should be a photo of it. So oh, see this technology. Yes. 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 So that's amazing. We amazing. Look at that flyer. Ring it to um, 10. Ring it to 10. So the activity started at 530. Um, and it's a family event. So it's not just for the adults. And we're going to have a lot of stuff for kids out there to do a kid's zone. Um, we are partnering with uh, Prohibition and Beer Army. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we will have some food specials and some drink oh, specials. Beer Army has some delicious and animals. for all you adults, the alcohol will be allowed in the gated area. So you're, okay. it's not going to be confined to just one area. Okay. So I I can so bring my child and then take her to a sitter and come back. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not this. sure about the sitter, but we do have a kid's area. Um, but we're super excited. We want everyone to come out. It's the first year for this. We're hoping yeah. to, for a huge turnout. Mm-hmm. Six o'clock. Um, if you haven't uh, seen him or g- just Google him, Adam Pitts will be playing at six. And then at nine will be Love Tribe. So it's just going to be an amazing time. So Adam Look Pitts, at me. Is that like, like, I'm getting super like, excited. Like, what kind of music is that? Music is that? Um, a little bit of everything um mm. you know uh paul mcdonald the gm of toyota uh-huh. um he has gotten adam pitts there and oh. um i had to google him but just just look him up he's an awesome guy and i think it's just we're just super excited you gotta be well i mean isn't it like the first thing yeah first it's, new new year's, new year's thing? Block party block yeah. party yeah. downtown corner of pollock and uh, craven will have a huge stage um it's just gonna yeah, be amazing to get really excited Vendors about this and, and kids and family and just everybody coming together and right. food and of course alcohol yeah um so and What's it's new, new and it's new year's yeah. Yeah. so yeah come on down um just watch our ig page and our facebook page and you'll see me probably 50 times out there promoting it but um Sounds stay great. tuned and we'll give you some more information yes. yeah. can't wait yeah. can't wait and if you guys like what you hear every Tuesday at 1, you can uh, feel free to donate to uh, folksjournal.com. We have a Patreon account and, or PayPal, and mm-hmm. you can go on there and donate as much as you like. And, you know, just make sure we get the book printed, you know, yeah. the journal printed every mm-hmm. two months. And, you know, just do this little podcast and let everybody know what's going on in New Bern and, you know, be a part of the unity in the community. And, uh, you know, I'm just really grateful. It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving mm-hmm. week, and yeah. we have a lot to be thankful for. And in the spirit, oh, my mama. 
<laughs> you know, she would make us all go around and say, "What are you thankful?" Meg, that's you just that's read probably my mind. why you like my mom. Yeah. Do this. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go around and do. What are we thankful for? And if Christian, and we'll start with you, and we'll go around the table. Oh, well, I'm thankful for a lot. I think I'm just blessed, and you know, I'm just thankful. But the biggest thing that I'm thankful for, and I'll get emotional, is got to be my son. Like oh. he is 16. He's a teenager. He's gonna be leaving me soon to go to college so I'm just blessed oh. he's 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 third in his class and yes Tristan I did just say that I'm sure you're gonna kill me later <laughs> that's mom but I'm super right proud there. I'm super mom, proud. Mom, proud but he's so focused on school he's got such a giving heart um and he's just an amazing kid and and I'm just blessed to be a mom I feel like I was meant to be a mom and look at me like I'm getting all okay. but um yeah so when he leaves me you guys can go ahead and commit me and yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just, just sitting here thinking like, oh gosh, 16, like Maury's not there yet. Yeah. So, but I'll I'm, help you out. yeah, but I'm just, I'm, I'm very grateful to have him in my life. So Meg awesome. would be a great Thanks. emotional support. Her yes. son's grown. Yeah. yeah. He just got married. Whom I yeah. could not I'm going to need you. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm going to need you. So yeah. Melissa, what you got for us, babe? Uh, I'm going to say kind of a, a two tier grateful bit here. I, uh, as, uh, as we're all going through, the, the recovery from Florence and everything else and just life being life in general. I'm going to say initially that I'm incredibly grateful for the arts because I think that's a very important outlet for a lot of people, especially here in this community, as we found out, um, that the whatever form your particular preference of art takes, it, it helps a lot of people in so many ways. And I am so thankful to be in this community Mm -hmm. Because this community, I have never seen another like it that nurtures and comes together and supports so much. And that that's that's incredible. If you're from here, you don't know what you have. Appreciate it. It's amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Go somewhere else for a week. We do. Go on vacation. (laughs) vacation. (laughs) It's it's great. Mm -hmm. This this community. I'm so thankful to be here and to be a part of it. And, and to call myself one of you guys. Yes. You're in New Vernia now. <laughs> I am. Charles? Oh, you're going to loop me into that. Right. Well, yes. Oh, yes. Hey. Hey. You, got, you got me in here working. Charles, like, uh, you can't ask what me. are you thankful for? we got five minutes. No pressure. Oh. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Studio um, reverse. Charles, you better say it's us. <laughs> I was going to say my children. but um, oh, You can yeah. still be you can still do yeah. that. Children. Um, it's, it's a different year for me this year. We've been through a lot. A lot has happened, and it's going to be the first year I'm going to get to just really enjoy Thanksgiving with all of them and run them around in the in the yard and have some fun. I'm looking forward to, unfortunately, watching my son try and ride our new riding lawnmower. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It would have to be them. It would have to be them. That's awesome. their... They're That's the number right. one reason I'm going to make it through 2018 without, you know, losing my mind. So. Yeah, cool. I get it. Absolutely. I get it. I get cool, it. Cool. Yeah. Oh, man, my turn. I'm just going to throw out a lot of stuff because I'm thankful dun, dun, dun. for a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very blessed. I'm thankful for my baby. She's not a baby. She's 11. <laughs> thankful for my daughter, my sister, my brother, my mother, my family, my support system, my friends. Thankful for the love that y'all show me, the support. We love you, Angela. Oh, I love y'all, too. I am thankful um, for life. I am thankful that, um, you know, something good always comes out of everything, even when it seems like it's the end of the world. I am thankful for the unity that we have seen. I am thankful for Newburn. I am thankful for everybody who takes the time out to care about someone else and put someone else before themselves. I am just, I mean, what could you not be thankful for? Yeah. You know? Sure. Absolutely. Even, Absolutely. Even, even, the, even the moments that seem like the worst. I'm thankful for those two because they form us into who we are mm-hmm. or who we are supposed to become. Mm-hmm. So, and they help us yeah. grow. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Absolutely. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> 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 that would be me getting us the awards. <laughs> award as a long speech. Look, I'm, I'm not even religious, but I was about to give this girl a hallelujah over here. Because, I mean, she's just... It, She's moving now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, uh, obviously, um, I'm grateful for Folks Journal. Um, we were a thought in January. We were in print in March. And this community has rallied and loved us. And just as much as we rally and love for you, you know. And it's just really special to be a part of something so big. And that's only going to be getting bigger. You know, Charles Tendell show. 
Folks Journal. I mean, all these different partnerships that are getting together to do the good, to do the damn thing, you know, and it's going to spread this big swath of love and fun Mm -hmm. and community and unity all over this town and beyond. So it's really great to be here at the beginning. You know, and to be a part of everything that's going on to meet you ladies. And, you know. Gives me the chill bombs. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, you know, and to all the people that have touched a Folks Journal. Mm-hmm. All the people that have, you know, looked at it on Facebook and on the web page, you know, folksjournal.com. You know, Instagram. all uh, The different events we've had. The hurricane relief we've done. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the um, you know, it's, it's just really important, you know, for everybody to know how much we love you. Mm-hmm. There's, there's just no other way to say it. And, yeah. and, I, and I would be lying if I said anything else, and you all know that about me. My heart is in this journal, and I know Leanne's is too. Mm-hmm. And I can speak for both of us when we say we can't ever do enough for you. So please let us know how we can help you because we're here to love you and your insides and outsides. And just this is we're, why I we're love ready. You. I know, right? <laughs> we're freaking ready. Just, just come find us, please. And we're looking for you. You know, you come find us. We're looking for you. And we, we would love to help make your dreams come true. We would love to be able to do that. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching on live today. That's been really special. Thank you. And everybody that's actually been on there, I know. And I can say I'm thankful for you, too. Yes. So awesome. thankful. thank you, Charles, for thank letting you, Charles. us be a part of uh, New Bern Live and Charles Tendell Studio. Yes. And thank yeah. you, New Bern, for um, being you. <laughs> I'm super thankful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>